Emily Blunt is hoping for many the Fall Guy sequels, and her director revealed the iconic franchise he wants to match. Moviegoers who have plenty of great titles on the 2024 movie schedule to look forward to, including The Fall Guy. The Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt-led action flick seems to be a high-octane love letter to filmmaking and stunt performers. While the film is still weeks away from release, it's hard not to wonder whether it might spawn spin-offs down the road. Well, it turns out that Blunt is indeed hoping to do many additional installments. Director David Leitch feels the same and, when discussing his plans, he name-dropped another blockbuster franchise he wants to match. Emily Blunt shares thoughts on the future of The Fall Guy. One of the things we know about The Fall Guy is that it's based on the classic 80 Seconds TV show of the same name, which starred Lee Majors in the lead role. That series managed to tell more than a few stories during its five-season run on ABC. Considering that the feature film has a somewhat similar motif, it seems like a given that it could spawn sequels that tell big screen-worthy stories. Emily Blunt was speaking with our sister site, Total Film, when she revealed that she's hoping to reprise her role as director Jody Morneau. However, as she astutely pointed out, that hinges on a key factor. We'll have to see if people love it, you know. I would do many Fall Guys if I could. It was just too much fun. She's definitely correct, as people will need to show up to the cinemas if they want a sequel. Films like these definitely don't come cheap, and Universal Pictures will surely want to see some solid receipts before giving the green light to a follow-up. It remains to be seen whether the movie can ultimately put on a strong performance at the box office. However, like his leading lady David Leitch is remaining upbeat. What David Leitch has to say about his potential plans for the franchise. The veteran filmmaker has been involved with some successful franchises, having served as a producer on the John Wick films and helmed Deadpool 2, Atomic Blonde and more. Of course, he's likely aware that his latest movie will need to succeed financially if it's to have a chance at expansion. When it comes to that, the bullet train director seems to be thinking big, as the numbers he wants apparently match up with the very iconic franchise. While speaking with Total Film, he said, I know I want to go on a journey with these characters for multiple films. I want lethal weapon numbers. I love these people so much, and also I love these characters. If I could work with this crew and these actors in this world that Kelly and I know so well, yeah, this would be a blast. I hope people want more. There are four Lethal Weapon movies, and they remain relatively popular amongst action junkies. It's not easy making an action saga like the one led by Danny Glover and Mel Gibson, who play mismatched police officers. Nevertheless, I certainly appreciate David Leitch's enthusiasm, and, as someone looking forward to seeing his newest movie, I hope it does spark a series of films. As far as premises go, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt's action flick serves up an exciting-sounding one. It centers on aging stunt choreographer Colt Seavers, who ends up working on the directorial debut of his ex-girlfriend. However, the production hits a snag when the lead actor, Tom Ryder, goes missing. To prevent his ex's movie from being shut down, Colt takes on the task of tracking Ryder down and ends up getting far more than he bargained for. The two lead actors have spoken about working on the film, with Gosling being compelled to join due to his admiration of stunt actors, which goes back to his time on Young Hercules. Meanwhile, Blunt's role was inspired by her husband, John Krasinski, who's also a director. So far, people have lauded The Fall Guy, which premiered at SXSW earlier this month. While that's not an exact indicator for how the movie will do at the box office, that's still an early win for the creative team. Here's hoping that Emily Blunt, David Leitch and co. find success and are able to do lethal weapon numbers when it's all said and done. Enjoying the content. Subscribe, like, share, and drop a comment to be a part of our amazing community. Your support means the world.